Hello everybody, welcome to Arlington, Texas for another episode of The Quick Set with me, Clayton Lucas. The Women's 2023 Volleyball Nations League Finals start today and it's the top eight teams who've made it through from the pool phase. Today, we'll have two quarter-final matches, Poland versus Germany, and then the host USA taking on Japan, while the other two will take place tomorrow, with Brazil facing China, and then Italy take on Turkey. And you can watch all of these live on VBTV. We're gonna talk about the USA taking on Japan, but before we get there, exciting news, Emily's actually here. <laughs> Hi, Emily. <Woo! laughs> and fantastic. Well, we've been all around the world. We've been separate to do the quick sets. Now we're together. How cool has the VNL been this year? It's been so exciting. Between the insane teams that we've seen, the crowds have been absolutely just raucous this entire time. It's been an exciting VNL. Yeah, it's been brilliant. It seems to get better and better every year, doesn't it? So, USA versus Japan, away you go. It's a big one tonight, and Team USA heads into this one after finishing 10-2 in the prelims. They finish second and will take on seven-seed Japan on Wednesday. Head coach Karch Karai had some decisions to make about this roster, but he fielded a powerhouse team that has seven different Olympians from that 2020 gold medal winning team. Now, looking at the opposites, two powerhouses, Annie Drews and Jordan Thompson lead the way. Setting-wise, Micah Hancock is in her fourth straight week here at the VNL, just one of two players to do so for this team alongside Lauren Carly. In the middle, veteran Haley Washington is alongside Dana Recchi and Asia O'Neill. And Chiaka Obogu makes her 2023 VNL debut after a long season with Vakif Bank as, as she got some rest for those first three weeks. On the outside, that's the most intriguing position where we have veteran Kelsey Robinson Cook alongside some new faces with Kalia Lanier, Ali Franti, and Avery Skinner who have impressed so far this VNL. And at the libero position, we have two that are absolutely going to anchor it down with Justine Wong Arantes and Morgan Hentz. Looking at this upcoming quarterfinal match between USA and Japan, it's actually a rematch from what we saw in week two at the end of Brasilia, where Japan took down Team USA in an insane five-set thriller. It's important to remember that this USA team started some inexperienced players as Karch Karai wanted to see those young players really come alive in that game against Japan. But Japan absolutely showed up. Three of those five sets were just within two points, but Japan dominated set five. It was 15 to six. Yukiko Wada, their opposite went off for 32 points. Team USA had no answer for her. And them, on the other hand, they made 29 errors during that game, 12 from the service line. So Team USA has to play a little bit cleaner and block a little bit better if they want a shot in this one. But what we do know is it's gonna be an exciting game. We have physicality versus a relentless defense in speed of Japan. So it's sure to be an exciting one. Well, I can't wait to see that. Thank you so much for that, Emily. That was brilliant. The other quarterfinal happening today, it's the all-European derby as Poland take on Germany. Poland is seeded one, Germany is seeded eighth, and Germany are here at the finals for the very first time. The last time these two teams met was during the pool phase in Suwon, Korea, which Poland won in a nail-biting five-set match, taking the decider 17-15. Poland's opposite, Magda Stysiak, helped her team to victory with 22 points. Lena Alsmeyer scored the same number for Germany, yet ended up on the losing side. Now you can be sure both players will be looking to score well again today. Each team has plenty of talented players that on the day could be a deciding factor, like Poland's libero, Maria Stenzel, and middle blocker, Agnieszka Korneluk. Whilst Germany's outside hitters, Anna Ortmann and Lena Stigrock, have been racking up the points at this year's VNL. Whilst Poland might be the favourites on paper as the number one seeds, Germany will still fancy their chances of booking a place in the semi-finals. Tomorrow's quarter-final round will start with Brazil and China taking each other on. Now, they also faced each other during the pool phase in Nagoya, Japan, and that match went to five sets, with China taking the win 15-12. Brazil did not have Gabi or Thaisa for that match, but these two core members of the team are here in Arlington and their presence could help Brazil get that all important win and book their place in yet another final four. The quarterfinals will conclude with another must-see match as Italy and Turkey have at it. These two teams also met during the pool phase in Antalya with Turkey winning it in straight sets. Turkey have only lost three matches this VNL, interestingly, all against teams here in the finals, USA in five, Poland in three and Japan in five. However, Italy, the 2022 VNL champions, have gone from strength to strength coming into the finals, winning all of their matches in week two, and they only lost to Brazil in week three in five before cleaning up with three straight set wins to round out the week, including a four set win against Japan. 
It's another quarterfinal match that should be fun and exciting, and we can't wait to see the outcome. This then is what the quarterfinals look like. We know who they are, but right now, we can't wait to find out who's going to the final four. If you want to watch all these matches live and you haven't already done so, now's the time to sign up to VBTV. And for all the latest news and results, you can catch all of that on VolleyballWorld.com. Well, that's it from the pair of us. We'll be back with you again when it's time for the final four.